Yesterday, we reported that actress Shailene Woodley and her character, Mary Jane Watson, had been pulled out of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, despite the fact that she already shot her scenes for the film. Director Mark Webb put out a statement conveying that they all loved working with Woodley, but decided to push the Mary Jane character back to Spider-Man 3 for story reasons. To add to the drama, yesterday, A Dangerous Method and Cosmopolis star Sarah Gadden confirmed she would be joining The Amazing Spider-Man franchise, which is already set to go to four films. Gadden didn't confirm which role she'd be playing in the series, but many have already begun to speculate that she will become the new Mary Jane and will replace Woodley. Amy Rose, what do you make of all this Mary Jane drama? <laughs> drama indeed. I mean, people love to speculate when a big change happens, and I, I do like that Mark Webb did did that, decided to introduce Mary Jane later on in the franchise because it was already feeling really crowded. And yeah. let's really have Gwen and Peter's relationship, you know, until the eventual fate. Sorry, spoilers, if you don't know the, the, how the comic ends, I'm sorry. Um, but I, I do think it was the right mood, but move. But I really like Shailene Woodley. I think she's a phenomenal actress. I think she's a rising star. She was incredible in The Descendants. Yeah. The depth and emotional, just, she brought so much to that role. and. Holding your own against George Clooney is not an easy thing, mm, and she really yeah. did. So, I I'm, I really hope that you know scheduling conflicts was the reason, and they weren't like she's not good enough because I think she could be a solid Mary Jane. Of course, I didn't see you know what what she brought to the screen in that capacity, but I think she's a good actress, and I haven't seen enough of Sarah's work to really judge. She's a babe. She's a beautiful woman. So obviously, you know, well done, Peter Parker. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I I don't. I do think Shalene would have done a really good job. Um, so only time will tell if this is really just a rumor, because you know there's plenty other roles she could possibly be. Um, but you know people love to jump on the bandwagon and point fingers and see what happens. So we'll see how it unfolds. But uh, I do think either way, having Mary Jane not in this film was the right move. Yeah, uh, we mentioned that on the show. I mentioned on the show yesterday that I, I really respect both Mark Webb and Sony saying, hey, look, this isn't working for the story. It's overcrowded. It's convoluting it. Let's just remove it. I like that. Now, let's get to this whole thing about, you know, is, is Shailene Woodley actually out as Mary Jane? I've gotten so many emails in the past, you know, 18 hours. John, did you hear? It's been confirmed that, you know, Shailene Woodley is out and this, this other girl is in. No, it's not. Let's just set the record straight. That is not official. Nobody is claiming that. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, like Dennis and I were talking about this yesterday. The first thought that went through my head when I heard that Shailene Woodley, uh, they were pulling Mary Jane out of Spider-Man 2 to save her for Spider-Man 3. First thought that went through my head was, huh, I wonder if actually they're re replacing her and this is all just a thing. But that's just speculation. Now, some website somewhere decides to air their speculation fair enough say hey you know this other same day this other girl says she's going to be in spider-man 3 is this the replacement for for woodley but then people took that and ran with it and and that's what people oh my gosh i hate it when when we do this as a fan community we're like jumping all over this whole idea that oh somebody mentioned it once oh it's fact it's fact did you hear that shailene woodley's out it's not fact. Nobody's confirmed this. Nobody has said that Shailene Woodley is out as Mary Jane. Now, that's not to say that, that it might not be the case. Of course it's possible. It's absolutely possible. But this whole notion that some people are going around with saying, oh, um, now Shailene Woodley's shooting schedule doesn't jive since they moved her out of Spider-Man 2 into Spider-Man 3. That's nonsense. Of course she knew she was supposed to be in Spider-Man 3 in the first place. She, she's got her schedule all lined up. So, I mean, it's possible that it's true, but it's definitely not fact yet. It has not been confirmed. But I'm gonna tell you right now why I have my doubts that this is true, that Shailene Woodley is out as Mary Jane. Here's why I doubt it. If I'm Mark Webb and, I am dis and I'm replacing one of my actors, I'm pulling a high profile actress out of a high profile role and a swap route, I'm not gonna say to the news reporters, no, I love working with this girl. The only reason we've pulled it out of Spider-Man 2 is for story reasons, that's all. We love working with her. And then secretly actually replace her and then allow the actress we've got replacing her announce to the world, oh, I'm in Spider-Man 3, when I've got a year that I could make that announcement from now. It just doesn't make any sense to me that all that would be announced on the same day if they were trying to keep this under wraps. Makes no sense to me. So it could be that Shailene Woodley is out as Mary Jane. It's possible. But I kind of doubt it because of the timing of all this. Amy Rose, like when you look at the timing and, and the order of all this is, is coming in, 
Does it make sense that Shailene Woodley is out, or do you share my opinion that maybe it yeah. raises doubts? I, I think it raises doubts because I do think that everything I've seen about Mark Webb, I think that, and you know, the studios in general, they don't want bad publicity around their film. And to go ahead and say, you know, she's out because she doesn't fit in the picture, but really the secret is that we didn't like her, but we hired this other actress who's better for it. I just, I think they would have more class than that. Maybe I'm hopeful in thinking they would have more class than that, but I do think it's just perhaps a coincidence in timing. And everyone, of course, wants answers because we don't know the full story. We're never really going to know the full story unless they want to tell it to us. So I do think that the timing is very interesting, but I'd like to believe that Sony has more, you know, obviously protecting their best interest. And I don't think that, that this would potentially be really bad rap for them and for Shailene. And from everything I've read and seen about her, she seems like a sweetheart who wouldn't, you know, just piss off Mark Webb for this reason. So I don't, I don't think that she will end up being Mary Jane, but it's possible. We'll see in time, but I do think the timing is just a coincidence and that they probably are more professional than that. To be like, she's out, she's in, oh wait, you know? Yeah, and I like Shailene Woodley a lot too, but I've said from the beginning, she was she would never be my pick to play Mary Jane, but I like her and I'm curious to see what she would do if it all works out. Do you out. have a pick? I'm curious. Not off the top of my head. Yeah. I probably did at some point, yeah. but I wouldn't want to venture a guess right now off the top of my head. Yeah. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we bring you all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter where you can find out about all the latest prizes, giveaways, and special contests.